Hey guys, it's me, um, Thick Boss Alex. I'm um, doing a little recipe here for the first time. Um, what I'm doing is this little sh drink I do. Um, nothing special, you know. I have chia seeds in the water, they're soaking. And the whole reason why I let them soak for a bit is if you can't tell from this video footage, um, they're becoming gelatinous on the outside. And so that's what I'm doing. Also going to put cacao powder. I like to use this brand because they still have the cacao um, butter um, in it. Yeah, that, so it actually has that buttery taste to it. Um, I have it in the Ziploc bag just to keep it fresh. And I also have um, agave syrup. Though it's not as what I, what I grew up with, but this is the closest you get to the, in the United States to agave syrup. And I'm going to be baking it. Um, I don't really go by measurements, per se, but I do go with what tastes right, you know. I would say I use this tiny little spoon, let's see, my thumb size, and um, I put about maybe four to eight chia seeds, and I put a cup of um, water in this little cup. Um, and, and then from there, I just put cacao powder and um, agave syrup until it tastes right. So that's about it. So here we go. Oh yeah, and also I'm using a food processor, which I think is a lot better than a blender. And um, yeah, it makes a, the, the, since it has, um, since the cacao powder has cacao butter in it, it actually makes it a little bit foamy, like the way it should be when you um, batter it a lot which I like, so here we go. I forgot to mention, I'm, I stopped it right now. Um, I also use almond, almond butter to give it a nice cream flavor to it since I'm um, lactose intolerant and I guess also because our ancestors didn't use dairy, you know. I can't have dairy, trust me. You don't want to see me when I have dairy. As you can see, it's nice and foamy, just as it should be. Um, a little frothy, I would say. It's, so. But should be fine by now. And here's my drink. We drinking it. 